Hey there, friends, and thanks for joining me. I'm geology professor Sean Wilsey. Today is Tuesday, July 8th, and I wanted to put together a video here to update you on some interesting activity taking place in Washington beneath Mount Rainier. Nothing to get alarmed by at this point, but we do have some small earthquakes that are taking place there. Probably just business as usual for one of these large strata volcanoes, but I knew it would be of interest and folks would like me to chime in on it. So let's go ahead and update you on what's been going on. So it's, a, it's basically a seismic swarm, a series of very small earthquakes taking place over in a specific area underneath Mount Rainier um, and over a very short time frame. This actually all began as I zoom you in here to Mount Rainier, which sits in the Pacific Northwest, just southeast of the, the t town of Seattle, city of Seattle. Um, these all began about 1.29 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, and there's been literally hundreds of quakes. Uh, the magnitudes have been small, so up to 1.7 magnitude, so no one's feeling these quakes, uh, but the seismometers are picking them up, and um, the depths of the earthquakes are ranging about from a mile down to three and a half miles down, somewhere in the ballpark there. So you can see there, they're primarily in clustered right in the summit region. So right beneath the summit of Mount Rainier at a few miles depth is where we're seeing most of these earthquakes. And again, because they are occurring in a very tightly constrained area over a tightly constrained time frame, just since early this morning, uh, that designates this as a, as a seismic swarm or an earthquake swarm, if you will. The red dots are the ones that have come in in the last hour. The orange dots are within the past um, 24 hours. And then the yellow dots are the ones within the past week. And even as I'm doing this, you can see new ones are being added, earthquakes updated. So it's adding in new ones as we go. But again, the magnitudes are very small. You can see the most of the quakes here. Um, you know, we've got many hundreds of earthquakes here but most of them are very small most below magnitude one let me take you to another way of looking at these this is the uh, pacific northwest seismic network and so we can look at the quakes in on this plot as well this short sort of shows where they're at in relation to the summit crater as you can see the summit crater here um, and then where those locations of those quakes are uh, if we want to go to the imagery and we can see the the glacier there capping Mount Rainier, you can see that as well. Um, and so let's go to the update from the USGS. I think this is important. And this is how I was early on this morning alerted to this activity. So uh, July 8th, they detect a swarm of earthquakes. Hundreds have been detected uh, with rates up to several per minute. Uh, depths, like I said, from 1.2 to 3.7 miles or 2 to 6 kilometers. Uh, largest earthquake so far is 1.7. Currently, and this is the important part, there is no indication that the level of earthquake is cause for concern and the alert level and color code for Mount, Mount Rainier remain at green slash normal. So we're not seeing any other evidence or signs to suggest that the volcano is going into any sort of a uh, stage of unrest. Now that can change quickly as data changes, but right now just preliminarily just looking at these earthquakes in and of themselves, there's no cause for any sort of alarm or anything like that. Um, so they talk a little bit more about the earthquakes. Uh, this is another important point here. Instruments do not show, let me highlight the right one here. Instruments do not show any detectable ground deformation of the volcano and no anomalous signals have been seen on the infrasound monitoring station. So we are not seeing any other signs that we would typically see if magma was on its way up to the surface. We know when magma is moving in the subsurface, it generates earthquakes, we are seeing those, but we also typically see ground deformation. We see the ground swell, move, bulge in places, and we have um, sensitive instruments on Mount Rainier that would show us if that was taking place, and so far, we're not seeing that. So right now it's just a swarm of earthquakes, very likely related to possibly uh, hydrothermal fluids moving through parts of that rock there. Uh, breaking rock could be also related to magma movement as well. So we're not sure exactly what's causing those, but those would be the, the two most likely causes for the quakes. Um, so again, uh, typically earthquakes at this volcano are about nine earthquakes per month. So we're seeing hundreds in basically just a few hours. So this is definitely an elevated level of earthquakes. Uh, the last large swarm at Mount Rainier in 2009 had a maximum magnitude of 2.3 and lasted three days. It had over 1,000 earthquakes. Um, and so we might be seeing a repeat of that. Of course, in 2009, there was no other um, 
indication of activity or any magma movement. There certainly wasn't any sort of eruption. And then the last thing here, past swarms have been attributed to circulation of fluids interacting with pre-existing faults. You have all these hydrothermal fluids, gases and such, uh, dissolved in the water moving through and underneath the volcano. You have weak zones, faults that are already there, and sometimes those fluids can allow those faults to uh, slip and move. You might get fluid moving in, it pressurizes the fault, creates a, a break and a small earthquake that causes more fluid to move further into the fault or the fracture, initiates another small earthquake, and it can be a bit of a domino effect or a cascading effect, if you will, there. Um, but that is sort of right now where we're at so far with things. So I will keep you updated if the situation evolves. Very likely that we see earthquakes continue throughout the rest of today, maybe for a couple days, possibly even a week or more. That's typical uh, earthquake swarm behavior. But again, just to be clear, right now there is no indication based just on these earthquakes and all the other data we have that magma is moving, that there's going to be any sort of eruption, that anything should be cause for alarm. Right now it looks like just a little hiccup, a little burp, if you will, inside the volcano and not something larger. So I'll keep you updated as things progress, if they do progress. And thanks for joining me. Appreciate your support of the channel and be well. Take care.